Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on the City Windows tutorial. Row 1 will tell you to chain 28 and to single crochet in the second chain from the hook and then to single crochet in each chain across. So I've already done some single crochet because you, you know how to do those. So then row 2 will tell you to chain 3 and that counts as the first double crochet in the pattern. You can also use the alternative stitch which I've left you a link in the blog post and on the YouTube so you can see that. I'm going to do that because I feel like it will make your edges a lot cleaner. But don't worry, there's a tutorial for it. You can get it. So then in on row two, after you do the first double crochet, it will tell you to double crochet in the front loop only until you get to the last double crochet. So you have two loops in a stitch. So this is your front loop and this is your back loop. And most of the time you crochet under both loops. But this time you're only going to be crocheting under the front loop. So let's do a double crochet in the front loop all the way across until we get to the last stitch. Okay, so we've made it to the last stitch, so we'll just do a double crochet under both loops, okay? So then the pattern will tell you to turn, and we're ready to do the special stitch. You can see right here you have what is now will be considered the front loop because you've turned your row but it was technically the back loop, right? But you can see the difference. You can see where the stitches are. So you'll chain three or do the alternative in the first stitch. So for the second stitch, you will yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Then you will yarn over and see this first front loop down here? It says yarn over, insert your hook into the front loop in the row below, yarn over and pull up a loop. You have four loops remaining on the hook. Yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through the last three. Chain one. You will skip this next double crochet in the front loop. It says yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops. And then it will tell you to yarn over, insert your hook into the front loop in the row below, which is right here. Yarn over and pull up a loop four loops are on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through the last three. Chain one. Skip the next stitch, which also means you're gonna skip the next front loop. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook into the front loop in the next stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through the last three. Chain one, skip the next stitch, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook into the front loop in the row below, 
yarn over and pull up a loop. You have four loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through the last three. You won't do a chain one and you're just going to do a double crochet, a normal double crochet into the last stitch or the top of the chain three, whatever you did. Okay, so that is how you make the special stitch. And then row four is just chain three or use the alternative for the first stitch. And then you'll do a double crochet in the front loop only of the next stitch. Double crochet in the chain one space. Front loop only in the next double crochet. And you'll just repeat that all the way across. And then you're going to come back and the next row will just be what you've already done, what I've already taught you how to do, which is the special double crochet stitch. So you'll just repeat, be repeating rows three and rows four throughout the rest of the pattern. I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial and that it has helped you. Please remember to give me a thumbs up and be sure and follow Elk Studio. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.